Katze. 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 Bonjour, Bonjour YouTube, today we are in Mantino, which is a small town in Centre Val de Loire region. Uh, it's the same region where we've gone to uh, Orléans and uh, Chartres already. Um, this city is called Mantino because of the uh, Madame de Mantino, who was the uh, second wife of Louis XIV. Louis XIV, yes. Yeah. And um, behind us is the Chateau de Mantino, which we are going to visit right now. And there is something else that's hiding behind it. So. On y va. The chateau itself is basically the main thing in this town. The town is very small, it's only 4,000 people living here. There is a cool thing behind it, behind the chateau, we'll show you. It's, um, it's a project that was done for Versailles and it was never completed due to the uh, war of religions. So we'll see it now. But uh, first, let's go and see the chateau. just say this place is absolutely incredible and interesting thing is that the family that owned the chateau it stayed in the family all the way until our days this is just incredible I am absolutely speechless as you can see a lot of the images here and statues and stuff there's a lot of Louis XIV there are other paintings of Louis XVIII and XVI but this is just I absolutely love it. It's so worth a visit. It's so worth a visit. It's incredible. This is what happens when you keep your history and when you take care of your history and when you don't throw things around or sell everything. What's your favorite film then? So uh -huh. far. What's your favorite film? I love it. I love everything. I love everyone in here. It's fantastic. So now we're in the garden. This is the French garden, as you can see. Um, it was initially inspired and designed by um, André Le Nôtre, obviously the most famous jardinier in France. Uh, behind me, over there, is the famous aqueduct 
this um, structure let's say was meant to stretch all the way until Versailles because Versailles didn't have water so they needed to obtain water from another place it's very tall it's a very big structure we will get closer to it in a bit but yeah the garden itself is surrounded by water which I think is wonderful and the water actually circulates it's not stagnant let's go have a look So as you can see, there are two extra layer levels that they were supposed to add. This is such a cool thing, but there is a huge spider on the other side. That's why I'm not getting close to it. <laughs> but um, so the two levels, they were supposed to be on top, but they couldn't finish them due to cost and war. And this was the dream of uh, Louis XIV, but it never got complete. So yeah, let's go get closer to it. It's beautiful. Let's go. I really love about France is that you could have a tiny little tiny village or tiny city like here a tiny town 4,000 people living here only and then you could have a beautiful chateau like this with an amazing thing at the back with the with the beautiful ruins you know and all you have to do is just show up and just spend a day here and it only cost you what eight euro I think eight and a half to yeah. go in mm -hmm. And you know what, but at the same time, it's recharging, it recharges you, it recharges you visually, it recharges you emotionally, it recharges you physically, I would even say, because of the air and the smell, and it's just, it's just beautiful. So there were 30,000 workers, of which 22,000 were soldiers, and 6,000 died from uh, an illness that they contracted here, apparently. Uh, the aqueduct was supposed to have been 1,300 meters long, but they only built 955. So the story of Madame de Maintenon is amazing. She was born in prison. Her father had debts and he was basically imprisoned for that. Later on when he got out they went to Martinique and uh, he tried his fortune there, it didn't work. At the age of 11 she was back in France and at the age of 16 she got married to a poet. Unfortunately he was ill and he died when she was 25 years old. She got hired by Madame de Montespan and uh, who was one of the favorites of Louis XIV. When she was there, uh, she, uh, became, she drew a lot of interest off the king, from the king. And um, so she became his favorite as well. Now the domain that's behind me, the chateau and the land, um, it belonged to her. She married in secret uh, Louis XIV, Louis XIV, in Versailles. Um, it was a secret wedding and um, Apparently they were in great love and their relationship lasted until he died. It's incredible. It's incredible to know this and this woman's story herself coming from such humble beginnings and ending up in such a big place. Well, 
it's like a soap opera, no? Yes, I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. It's like, you know, this Argentinian or South American soap operas where they start from like yeah. a cleaner, from <laughs> you a know, scratch. and then suddenly they become almost the queen, you know, because she technically became almost the queen, you know, they kept it a secret. But um, I find it incredible. I find it incredible that she stayed with him all the way to the end. That is crazy.